QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a an updated video, an updated review video of Gingerbread EI22 and Android 2.3.5 on the Samsung Epic 4G. Uh, this is completely stock, but this is the official update from Sprint. Uh, it was released over the air today, November 9th. But um, to show you, I'm on it. I'm going to hit Menu Settings, go to About Phone, and as you can see right there, firmware version 2.3.5. And build number, Gingerbread EI22 right there. So I am on there. Just a little uh, hidden feature, well not feature, but just a little hidden trick. Repeatedly tap on firmware version and see. We, let me know what you guys find. So repeatedly tap on that. It is just a hidden feature in Android. Uh, but anyways, some nice cool new features from Froyo. You got uh, over scroll glow, blue over scroll glow. So as you can see, as you go up and down over scroll, instead of it, it doesn't bounce, it's, it uh, glows. So very cool feature there. Um, just a little nice update. Notification bar theming is different actually. So let's go ahead and zoom in and check it out. So I believe the font's different too, so a little different font, mix it up. Stock gingerbread battery icon, uh, six signal bars, and uh, updated 3G icon. I can't show that right now just because um, I don't have my number on my phone, so I don't have 3G access. But swipe down notification bar, nice grayish tint to everything, darker gray right here and lighter gray up there. But um, you got green uh, icons up there that light up green when you press them. Um, otherwise they're white so just an overall updated theme to gingerbread um, not apps apps aren't themed any different messaging apps the same bubble style phone app is the same style as well um, you do have touch 3.2 now it is an update to touch with so um, the only updates I have seen is um, to touch with 3.2 is in, it lets you scroll through continuously through your home pages so you can keep just keep scrolling through as you can see the dot up the top it goes from the glass screen to this one so you can continuously scroll through them you can do the same thing with your app drawer so you can continuously scroll through the apps in your app drawer same style same thing the basically the icons with the back, the colored backdrop same thing as in in the app drawer but just overall um, no really updated apps. I don't see any new apps. Uh, you still have Asphalt 5 Demo, Sprint ID right there. Uh, Sprint Zone app's been uh, updated. The, the icon's been updated. So you've got that. Just a, just a heads up there. So, uh, but otherwise, that's just a quick overview of it. Something that I do wish it had, but it doesn't, is CRT screen off animation. So when you turn off the phone, it goes down like a old CRT TV. But sadly, this doesn't have it, but oh well. Now, as you can see, same lock screen as well. Stock Epic unlock screen. Just swipe it up to unlock. But just overall, it includes all the gingerbread updates, obviously, from Froyo, as well as air rave notification fixes. You got a SMS area code fix. Uh, your PRL and profile updating should be fixed to do so. Menu settings, about phone, system updates, and you can update profile and PRL. It should be fixed now if it was airing before. Um, you got EAS HTML tagging fix. You got Bluetooth headset quality fix. So if you used a Bluetooth headset, your quality should be improved and the lock screen date is fixed. I know there was an error where it would cut off on stock for oil, but this should be fixed now. So just quick updates along with obviously the update to gingerbread. So definitely be sure to uh, check it out if you have a Samsung Epic. I do have a video showing you how to update from stock and if you're rooted. So click on the link in the description of the video. There'll be links there as well as following me on Facebook or Twitter and check out my blog as well. But uh, be sure to subscribe as well for future videos and I hope you guys like the video. Thanks for watching.